behind you can see, we're actually going to go in to the entrance where people who were coming to visit the cathedral hundreds of years ago would have actually come in there into what we call the hostry, which is the welcome room. And anybody who was visiting the monks who were in the monastery attached to the cathedral would have walked through the same door you are going to walk through. They were given a welcome. Hi, this is Rob Watson. Um, I just wanted to run through some reflections that I've had about the visit to Norwich, Norwich for the Y Heritage Project, um, and kind of why and why why it was important, why it is a really valuable experience, and what I think we got from it, and what we can uh, learn from it. One of the challenges that we've got is we live in a world which is um, very you know, industrialised. People's relationships with one another are very much more mediated by technology. Uh, it's very difficult to live in a city because you live side by side like strangers. And there's a sense that, you know, kind of we live in a kind of an overwhelming world of information. And you know, how, how do we make sense? And as we kind of maybe shelter together in small groups, um, but these aren't really, you know, how, how are these bounded? You know, fo football, uh, sports, commercial activity, these seem to be the things that are, you know, the, the way that we come together as communities and as individuals. It's very difficult to uh, uh, have a sense of identification and to be part of a community. So that kind of is the, the kind of background to what I think was a really great experience with the Y Heritage visit to Norfolk. And it was about bringing a group of people together who didn't know each other and to experience something that they'd maybe not uh, done before and to do it in a way which was uh, inclusive and supportive, but also challenging and... Uh, expanding it wasn't a convergent experience it was a divergent experience asking lots of questions asking people to think and reflect in many different ways and what one of the techni principal techniques that we used was to capture as much content as we could photographs video lots of audio where we can put that together and reflect on that and we can listen back to these and watch back these um stories that we've kind of shaped and consider and reflect on who we are uh, and what we experienced um, so there's a kind of model here which i think is something which can be replicated for other uh, events and other occasions and using this important process of reflection and capturing and using media to capture the things in this way in a very diy hands-on kind of way kind of takes us through a cycle where we on the one hand, we've got these things which are uh, always in, in emergence to us. It's always something which is in a process of development. We're always finding out and having that ability to be open to the world and learn new things about it through experience and through study and through conversation and discussion is really great. And what was the, the framework that, if you like, uh, that helped with this was bringing people together as a group and having a purpose but also having uh, a, an underpinning sense of uh, a belief from the people who'd organized this as to why it mattered and then bringing people to heritage settings i think is really key because it's a way that people can immerse themselves in a very practical embodied kind of way and explore you know physically it's tangible it, you're not just looking at a screen you're interacting with people and you're hearing about stories and you're interacting with displays and places which are uh, stimulate the imagination and it's this idea that you're participating in a story embedded in this particular place which goes back in some cases many thousands of years I'm just halting here a little bit because I want you to look at this because this is one of the costumes that Adam made, Adam upstairs. And it was so what it does, it kind of initiates us into a, a different symbolic space, a, a cultural realm where we kind of say, well, this is very different from our modern life. And what that does, I think, is it opens up some imaginative space where we've got this possibility when we think about it and reflect on it to reconnect with 
what we find meaningful and what we find uh, important and what we think our strategies for development and where our confidence and our strengths lie so it fits in very well with the model of personal development that is uh, part of this process <coughs> and kind of just kind of thinking about this as a kind of meaningful embodied experience it's something you take part in um, and it's often something that we forget about or we we don't um really kind of grasp anymore that you kind of you, you you your initiation into culture um is not just as i say staring at screens or reading books but it's also something which is a lived practice uh, but that depends on things like your social environment uh, your personal uh, disposition and then your ability to reflect and think and learn and look at what you're doing and think about how it can be uh that story moves forward because stories classically myth stories fairy tales legend they're all about development and growth and they're all about change uh, and so living this and having the opportunity to hear from people who understand and have uh, are you know immersed in these stories as part of the heritage working in a museum working in a cathedral you know you're part of that story you're retelling that story to people and this is the process of sharing that and helping other people to come to an, an understanding of that and feel part of that process I don't know well I mean but the waves coming in the waves retracting occasionally you can hear the sound and it kind of comes down to you know what kind of story are we living what kind of you know kind of what kind of myth do we uh, uh, want to be part of and what was really great and i really enjoyed with the visit to each of the uh, places that we visited was the ability to kind of very playfully just take part in this and forget about uh, you know the tasks that we have to do and the objectives that we you know the, the personal object objectives that we might want to uh, you know push through in our lives the, and people other people's expectations it was a time when we could just really enjoy ourselves and be part of the story and open up as a uh, a shared creative interpersonal kind of space where everybody was allowed in their own way to take part in this process and to uh, use it as a way of reconnecting either with themselves or with the world around them. I think the importance of heritage places and museums, galleries, uh, uh cultural institutions is really important because there's a kind of they are wisdom institutions which is something that we don't really have in modern society or we don't put a priority on in modern society and it's this idea that you know rather than thinking of things in terms of transactions and things in terms of you know actions that we have to do and outcomes that we think about it as a a myth and a poetic creative space and that's where we reconnect with our imagination and that as we uh in take you know practice and live through those stories uh, and those myths we be we that's how we learn to grow uh, and that creative imagination was for me what was captured through this project and what i think was demonstrated that it really was a, a very enriching process uh, for everybody and i was really pleased to be a part of it and I, I learned an awful lot about uh, myself and I learned an awful lot about Norwich and Norfolk and it was just a nice way to connect with people and I really do get the feeling that people have moved forward and have grown and have uh, uh, embraced that ability to move forward and grow. That suits him so well. I know. Can I touch my fairy cow? Look at my sexy coat. Oh, my fairy cow. Is there other stuff? Like, yeah. Oh, wow. But not quite, it's not as complicated. But it's like, it's, he's a, like, kind of a detective sort of thing. So yeah, oh, wow, well, yeah. If you want, like, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. So, like, so you can't just get in there. Oh, okay. and it's just, oh, hey, it's a criminal. In you go, Right, in you go. Uh, we will work